this week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary uh, is showing here the view from the S1 camera from USGS HVO uh, for the last four days or so, showing the new configuration of lava output on the surface of the volcano. So you have here on this western side, the left side of the image here, the central vent that has taken over the main volume of lava output. Most of the lava is coming out here. And secondarily, it's still coming out where it was before in the southern vent of the eastern lake over here. But what happened was following the last deflation inflation cycle, as the pressure returned to the volcano, the lava came back first at the central vent. And for, for a full 18 hours, left this eastern basin drained. It only had two small ponds within it. And then the lava from this central vent poured into this eastern basin and refilled it and was shortly follow followed thereafter by the resumption of the southern fountain there, which is still going, but is not putting up out as much lava as a central vent. So that's the main change in the volcano. Just in a surface outlet, how the lava makes its way up and through the crust. This entire crusted crater floor, that's about 300 acres or so, is still continuously uplifting as lava injects below that crust there. So we're just looking at the, the pathway through that crust out onto the surface and before it recirculates back into that lower part beneath the crest. And that's what we're seeing here this week. So that's the view from the S1 camera. Uh, I also wanted to share that view, similar view from the F1 thermal camera from the USGS, and I'll zoom it in here. It's worth noting that this entire time, uh, here is our central vent and our eastern lake are now in a background here. But this entire time, our western basin with its hosted lake is steadily circulating the entire time. Lava is coming up beneath the crust somewhere and it's kind of splitting perhaps. And this area in the west has been steady and persistent. There's a small pathway into the southeast pit here and that might be more inter intermittent because you see this thing flashing off and on. But the western pit certainly has been steady here. Looking at that eastern activity in the thermal here, you really can see this is really sped up. But following that last deflation inflation event, where this back basin goes this darker blue color as its surface lava cools, drains away, you see just the two ponds that remain there and there. And you see the burst from the center here that first spreads outwards to the north and to the south, and then eventually spills over to the east to refill that basin in there. And that's the view from the thermal summing up the activity this past week. And I thought I would just add one couple other things in here. One is that to note that we did have a 4.8 earthquake in Deep Pahala that occurred a few days ago. That was felt uh, statewide. I've seen reports all the way to Kauai. I'm showing you guys here just a, the USGS reports map um, of island-wide and uh, showing as far as Honolulu here. Um, but there's been no changes to either volcano of Kilauea or Mauna Loa from this, from this activity, this, this earthquake. It's part of the deep plumbing system of the volcano that doesn't really affect the surface act action that much. So just note that that occurred. And finally, just to touch base on Mauna Loa, we have this map from firms that uh, Dane pulled for us showing that heat signal of Kilauea. There was a small wildfire, brush fire that was occurring over by Waikoloa. And it's also showing here the area of Mauna Loa the lava flows where they are the thickest, still putting out a heat signal, so they're still cooling there, um, not so much from the caldera uh, or the upper upper ridge here, but more so on the lower slopes where it's uh, thicker and retaining most of that heat. So that's the Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.